All right, what's up, Iron Exotics? Welcome back to another episode. So today, we're gonna to be deworming some snakes, AKA parasite flush, a very common thing to do in the hobby. We have a um, sort of a clever guy. Say hi, Julian. Hi. <laughs> All right, so Julian's over here to help us. Uh, we're gonna weigh the snakes, then administer some panic here. We're not gonna do everything. We're just primarily gonna do you see, I, to I told you she's in a boreal actually. All right, guys, check this out. So the email I was on on camera too often for a reason being they used to used to always hide. So finally, she has some boreal tendencies. <laughs> the other one, you see, the other one is hiding. So yeah. All right. So back to what I was saying. We're gonna be weighing them, and then we're gonna be administering some panic cure. So yes. Oh, and uh, I can't forget. You know, she's hiding, but. Julian's girlfriend's also here, so yeah, she's gonna be doing most of the camera work for us. <laughs> all right, guys, so this is all we're gonna do now. So first of all, we're going to zero the scale. Um, how this works is Julian will quickly do this for you guys. All right, Julian, uh, let's quickly zero the scale so that they can see. Okay. So how you do it, you take the top, you wait, you should probably put the lid on, eh? Uh, yeah, you just want to keep this side. Yeah. So then we take the top's weight, we put it on the scale, we zero the scale. Is it zeroed? All right, yeah. so as soon as the scale is zeroed, we take the snake, we put it into the tub, we weigh the snake, we jot down the snake's weight, and according to that, we'll work out the panic here. So, uh, let me quickly hand you guys over to Mel. All right, the camera girl. So, we're gonna start off with the squirmy boy. Julian actually, had him at his place for a while with the female. So we're hoping for the best. Well, I'm hoping for the best in the next two to three weeks. But look how nice this guy is, eh? Just don't get too close. He is, he's a, tends to jump the hook. But how nice is this snake? All right, so now all we do is we simply just put him into the tub. All right, and so put that tub on that side, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we'll like coax him in. Or maybe I should just do it like this. There we go. So the reason why we're so cautious is um, a lot of people underestimate how potent squams actually are. A good buddy of mine got tagged by one of these and yeah, let me guys tell you this, it's nothing to be impressed with. That bite's bad and it takes one moment. Fuck sakes. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to do it. <laughs> Alright, let me do that. So I'll do it like this. Nieman. <laughs> you should have seen how that Knutus gave me and Marcel all the hell one could think of in the world to just fucking get into. It, it was a tub that's about this size. Alright, one enclosed little square mirror. Okay, so we got him on the scale. Okay, maybe I should just take you guys back for a second. So, Jules, let me swap around with you this side. All right, so we got him on the scale, and he's a 187 grams. Uh, you've just got it. Uh, that's including the tub because. The oh yeah, we'll obviously okay. subtract the tub's weight. Okay. So the right, scale right. reset. No, no, we got a paper for this. Okay. So we'll go to the. Such style, Ooh. such fashion. Mm. <laughs> I'm just glad he doesn't make me look dumb alone. <laughs> All right, guys. So now we've got his weight, and uh, obviously we're going to be doing this for this whole aisle here, and this over here, and then um, this girl over here is going to have a little flash as well. The Abelabras back there. The big Doresis here, the purple Meculatus over there, the other Doresis, the Ritchick, the Himahabus. That big female is not going to get flushed though because she's quite possibly gravid. Jill and I both had a look at her and she's fat, but not overweight fat, so yeah. Alright guys, so we're going to put you guys on a bit of a uh, time lapse so you guys can see how we where all the snakes? We're just not going to individually show you guys how to wear them all. I mean, we just showed you how to do it. You zero the scale, 
Well, you first you put a tub on, you zero the scale, you put the snake in, you weigh the snake, you jot down the snake's weight, and then once we start administering the panic hearing session like that, we'll bring you guys back in the loop. So, go time lapse. I guess you're back. Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply. It's like that. You're just gonna walk into my room. I hate how you assume there will always be a place for you. So obviously we live in South Africa and in South Africa we have this thing our government thinks they're very funny and they put your power out for load shedding which is basically saving electricity but it's all because of uh, yeah we're not gonna go into politics but yeah so basically long story short we had to take a short recess and we're gonna continue now with weighing the snake still and it's already what it's 11 o'clock already right? I don't know. It is 10 o'clock. Well, it's 10 o'clock and we started at 7, so we're still not done weighing. Uh, we've got about 1, 2, 3, we only three, three, we got three more left. Alright, so we've got three more left to weigh and then we start panicking. 
So we have the panicky ready, we have the weights and uh, actually you know what, I'm not going to waste my time trying to explain something to you guys that I am still learning to understand. So hey Fanny, quickly explain how the whole panicky procedure works and everything, then we'll show them how we do it with the first one. <sighs> <laughs> Are you on the spot? Yeah, I'm on the spot. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So basically, <laughs> we're gonna. <coughs> oh, I'll jump in if I'm wrong. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take ten percent of the snake's weight, right? Yeah. So we're gonna take ten percent of the snake's weight and administer that amount of uh, panic here. No, not ten percent. One percent. One percent of the snake's weight. So it's basically one mole per kilogram. Yeah. So we use that ratio: one milligram, one kilogram gets one mole of panic here. So all we do is we measure the panic here on a little scale, then we simply just uh, put it up into a needle, inject that straight into the food item, and then we feed the food item to the snake and that's pretty much done. Normally what a lot of people do, what they used to do, um, they've changed the methods now lately, or not lately, over the last few years. Um, they used to administer panic here, uh, which is uh, obviously a parasite flush, so it's a dewormer, all of that kind of stuff. It's a lot safer than most generic deworming drugs of today. Um, so basically what they used to do is that they would grab a tube, shove it down the snake's throat and administer it orally, uh, but that puts a lot of stress on the animal and everything. So what a lot of people do these days is that they inject the prey item of the required amount of panic here and that's a lot safer um, and it's also ensured that that's the right doses that you give because normally what you do stop laughing <laughs> 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 normally what you would do um, is uh, if you do how do I how do I say administered orally uh, you don't always get the right quantity but if you inject it into the food item and ensure that it's not seeping out anywhere of the uh, item's body part, um, then you get quite an accurate ad, uh, administration of Panicure into the animal at so, a much safer way, basically. Okay, so this is Panicure, you normally want to give it a big shake. Um, this is, I think, the 50%, um, I don't know what you call it, some funny name that's on it, uh, whatever that is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Benzimidazul. We say it like that, bro. It sounds like Benzim in the mazul. Um, you can get it at any vet. Normally, they don't give it to you in the bottle. Normally, they'll give it to you in a smaller capsule. Sometimes, if your vet likes you enough, they can give it to you in a bigger bottle. Uh, you can also purchase this bottle or the larger bottle. This is, I think, the 200, 200 ml bottle. You can also get a one liter bottle that you can only get from your. You forgot the <laughs> tube. Um, you can also get a bigger bottle, one liter bottle from. I wouldn't say any farmer's market, but you can get from any uh, majority of the farmer's market. If there's an old zoo in your area, you can go for old zoo. Uh, but normally farmer's market that normally deal with cattle product sellers. Okay, so now, if you guys come a bit closer, we'll show you how to do it. So we're going to start with one of the open events. So that's going to be a fuzzy 
actually these guys chop quite big. No, we're gonna go with the fuzzy still. Alright, so you wanna take your prey item. Alright, so okay, so she's up at 40 grams. Alright, so the only reason why we're first pulling it into the bigger needle is because these small syringes just have a really, really hard time pulling the panicure. Like, the, the, that needle point is just too they're small to. They're designed for vials. Yeah, they're actually yeah, designed for vials. So, yeah, okay, so. We want to keep that clean and have no contact with it. Now that's the other issue. You get too much in? No. Um, airlock. Oh. Are you seeing now? Of course, sorry, I'm messing panic on your floor. That's fine, we'll just have a good, a good yeah. clean up later. Cool. Shotgun the clean. Oh, it's fine, we got Mel. There we go. <laughs> okay, normally you want to get any form of airlocks out so that you get the accurate dosage. Dosages. Are so how big you know we're using now? So you're not using the 50s, we're using the 100s, right? Yeah, I'm using the 100s. So that's one milliliter. No? It's 10 milliliters, right? It's one more. One more? One more. The one you're holding in your hand, I think, is. Yeah, the one you're holding in your hand is one more, this is also one more. Uh, yeah, it's one more, yeah, I see now. Jeez, that's ridiculously small, actually. It is. Cool, so, there we go. Alright, so her weight's up at 40 grams. Her weight's at 40 grams, so that is... 0 0.004. 0 0.04, should be. 0 0.04, yes. Well, there's an easy way to see it. Yes. Um, I also gave him uh, just a short... Thing. I'll also show it. Whoopsie. <laughs> you have a chart? Yeah, it's not a chart, it's just a little notepad that I gave up. Uh, so for every 10 grams, it's 0 0.01 more. Just show it on the camera. That shows just 0.01 more. So, so we're going to administer so 4 more. Yeah, 0.04 more. Is this unfrozen? Sorry? Is this unfrozen? Yes. It's just cold. Jeez, now it gets so cold. Maybe we should put this off. That's why it's probably getting so cold. Yeah. So that's just Jesus. What the fuck? YouTube's gonna sue my ass. Edit. Beep. <laughs> we'll put beep 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 beep. <laughs> Once. Okay. So how are we gonna get zero point zero four? Because if this is one mole, then it should be zero point one, zero point two, zero point three, zero point four. So. No, it can't be that much. We have so, are you saying we have to inject that amount? No, we have to inject that amount. One, two, three, four. So that amount, right? No, less than that. Half of much. You see the one little line? You have to there. That amount. Yes. Please, guys, check how accurate you have to be. Alright guys, so obviously... So let's rather use this, so we'll rather suck up of this, so we'll use this for the larger specimens, because this one... This is the big one, alright. So we're going to use the 0 0.5 one rather. Yeah, so we'll use the, not point, the 0.5 more, which is this, so it measures from 0 0.001. Alright guys, so while Julian's quickly getting this sorted, I'm going to steal the camera here for a second. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to steal the camera here for a second, and just emphasize something here guys. Obviously, if you have any experience with this and everything, don't try to attempt this. It's always better to have a vet to help you. Julian has done this quite a few times and he's worked with a few vets doing this as well. So that's the only reason why he's helping me. That's why I'm not doing it by myself. So again, emphasis, guys, on making sure that you know what you do when you're doing this or get a vet to do this for you. <coughs> Panicure also kills good bacteria inside the stomach. So if you overdose this, you kill all the good bacteria inside your snake and then you end up killing your snake. So again, emphasis on this. Yeah, any reptile actually in general. So uh, with Panicure, less is more. So you never want to overdose the snakes. 
and then rather yeah, under no, rather underdose than overdose. Sounds okay when I talk medical. Oh. <laughs> You know, Masal was actually the guy that showed me uh, the B complex. Yeah, I, uh, that's where I saw it as well with one of his scrums. And uh, mm. we recently did a video on sexing snakes as well. So if you guys want to see the video on um, how we ouch, how we sexed uh, a few of the snakes that are over here, you can just like check it over. It's gonna probably pop up. Wait, we shall. It's, it's gonna pop up over here, probably about Julian's head. Then you guys can just click on that and check out that video as well. As long as it's not all spot. You have a big bolt spot, it's hard to not get there on camera. <laughs> okay, the 0.5 mm is actually a lot more difficult to get. Yeah, we had the issue with this the last time as well. Mm. Jeez. You any? No. Oh, it seems like a big issue. Jeez, and that's a small amount, eh? Mm hmm. Struggling to go? Yeah. Jeez, but it's got a big bubble in there. It does. Did you hear that? I heard. Sounded like a fort. <laughs> Almost the edge of it. It's a sprayer. So this is 0 0.5, so this is 0 0.1, so it's 0 0.05. So we want 0 0.01 more. 0 0.01? We want 0 0.04, sorry. Yeah, we want 0 0.04. Yeah. I'm just working off of the guesstimation. Okay. So we want that is 0 0.5 moles. As you can see, this is 0 0.5 moles. So this is a 0.5 moles range. It'll be 0 0.1, so it's 0 0.05. So then we're calculating off 0 0.01, 0 0.02, blah, 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 all the way to 0 0.5 moles in total. So what we want to do is we want to administer from 0 0.4 for a 40 gram, uh, 0 0.04 for a 40 gram specimen. I can't remember which one was the 40 gram Which which ones are we doing? The open events is uh um, was this one right? No, I say focal. Hey? I say focal. <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly reweigh this one. Just to make sure I'd rather be fucking sure than cry. Ugh. I really should put male and female tags on these enclosures. You actually should. I think it was this one though, but it's fine, I'll just make sure. Yeah, it's this one. 40 grams? Yeah. Okay. She's actually 41, but I remember we said we're going to go a bit lighter to make sure. There we go. All right, well, you can feed them, like we said. Okay. These are awesome to feed. You can bring the camera around and you can check out how you feed them. Mm. You should invest in some larger feeding tweezers. What? You should invest in some larger feeding tweezers. No, just keep your fingers out of the way. Genius. <laughs> there we go. Did you get that? Mm-hmm. Alright guys, so we're going to do a little bit of a fast forward thingamajiggy because otherwise uh, this video is probably already freaking long. So we're going to do this in a fast forward and then yeah, see you guys again at the end of the video.
So this is obviously taking an extremely, extremely large amount of time. So we're not going to be showing you guys how we film everything. We're going to end this video here. I'm sure you guys understand how we're supposed to do this now and what's supposed to be done. Thanks, Julian. I really appreciate you coming over. It's He's obviously not going to leave yet. He's going to help me finish this. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to cut this video because Mal's arms are like literally this big. So I'm scared if she continues holding that camera, she might die of exhaustion. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, like and comment, subscribe over here, join the family. If you guys do enjoy seeing some Vipers eat, check out this video that's going to pop up over here. And then from our Exotics, we say peace out. Cheerio.